to cooking in Manhattan. When it's cold out, everyone enjoys some comfort food. And comfort food Italian style is pasta alla carbonara. Carbonara is a simple and delightful dish. And very likely you already have all the ingredients in your pantry already. So for two people, we need a third of a pound of pasta. I picked something that looks very similar to spaghetti, but these are handmade. Um, and we need two eggs. Um, I have grated a little bit more than half a cup of um, parmigiano cheese, but you know me, I always exaggerate with, with cheese, I just like it so much. Um, and then lastly, you need some pancetta. As you probably remember, this is, by the way, this is half a cup. As you probably remember from my Amatriciana recipe, pancetta can be easily substituted for either uh, bacon or turkey bacon if you do not eat pork. Now my water is boiling and uh, let's get going. While the pasta is boiling in, um, in the pasta pot, let's give it a little stir. We have already lit up a little bit of fire under this, um, this pan. And now we are going to put in the pancetta. Spread it a little bit and we're, we're going to cook it until it gets a little bit transparent. So this should take more or less like three or four minutes. So all the recipe is going to prepare, be prepared while we wait for the pasta to boil. And it's going to take like 10, uh, 12 minutes more or less for the pasta to be al dente. The pancetta is ready, so let's turn off the heat and let's focus on the eggs. In the meantime, I am going to open the eggs and beat them with the parmigiano. Notice that I'm not adding any salt and pepper because the pancetta is already very salty and you don't want your dish to be overly salty. Also, the parmigiano adds some creaminess and, you know, in some interpretations of this, this recipe, people put um, some, uh, some cream, some heavy cream. Wow, that's a lot of parmigiano. Um, some heavy cream or some milk, but I'd rather not because I think parmigiano already gives a lot of creaminess and see that's the way it looks and uh, you don't need the additional creaminess and most importantly you don't need the additional calories. I think it's done. You know, in my family, we have my cousin Gerardo, who is the ultimate expert. He's going to tell you how many seconds you are far away from al dente. So, you know, I don't have my cousin right now, ciao Jerry, but I will, uh, I will take a risk. Yeah, it looks like it's done. Oh, well. So, now, for the preparation of carbonara, we are going to pour the pasta in the pan. The pan is not hot because you remember we turned off the fire quite some uh, time ago. But that is actually one of the most important things because next thing that we are going to do, we are going to cook the eggs only with the heat of the pasta. So here we go. We are going to pour the egg mixture in the pasta like this. And um, you don't want to light up the fire under it, otherwise you're going to have scrambled eggs or a frittata, that is even worse. But you're just going to want to fold in so the creaminess given to by the, uh, by the cheese is actually going to combine with the protein of the eggs. Wow, this is going to be so good. This is the perfect comfort food for a nasty day out like this. Um, and we are ready to eat. This is the best part of a very rainy day. So let's now try it. Mm. This is really good. You have to try this recipe. It is very easy and most importantly, you already have all the ingredients at home probably. I hope you're gonna try pasta la carbonara and I'll see you again on the next Cooking in Manhattan. Ciao!